Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Getting Started with Kafka. Uh, so this is a continuation from the introduction video. So if you've not already seen my intro video on Apache Kafka, highly recommend that you take a look at that video first because a lot of concepts and terms uh, might be new to you or might be confusing if you haven't seen that video. So in this video, what we'll do is uh, take a look at how you can set up uh, Apache Kafka on your environment, and then we'll take a look at some uh, useful commands on how to get uh, started, how do you start the server, how we can create a topic, uh, how we can view existing topics uh, that were created uh, in our Kafka cluster, and then we'll take a look at how we can emulate uh, a, a producer and a consumer and do some uh, kind of like uh, scenarios around uh, pushing some messages uh, and uh, consuming that. So that's really the agenda for this video. So step one is uh, to download and uh, set up Kafka, uh, which should be fairly straightforward. So head over to uh, kafka.apache.org and uh, hit the downloads link. And uh, from there you can download um, the latest version of Kafka. Uh, so I've downloaded uh, Kafka and uh, extracted it to my home directory. So in my case, I've got Kafka extracted as uh, yeah, so CD Kafka. All right. So the, uh, I've uh, this is where I've extracted the files to. So feel free to uh, extract it to the folder of uh, your preference. Uh, so that's uh, step one. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it for setting up Kafka. Uh, unless you have a very complex environment or anything out of the ordinary, uh, you can leave much of the config uh, in its default. So uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to go through any of the, this uh, in a lot of detail, at least not at this stage. I'll cover some of the more advanced configuration in a future video. So uh, with that in place, uh, let's actually start um, Zookeeper and um, let's also start um, uh, Kafka itself. So you may remember from uh, my earlier video, so I've uh, talked about some of the key concepts uh, here. So Kafka, the cluster which comprises of n number of uh, Kafka brokers, relies on Apache Zookeeper for uh, cluster coordination, uh, leader election uh, and um, uh, even to manage uh, even consumers not just the broker but even consumers rely on uh, Apache Zookeeper so that's step one we need to start Zookeeper and after that we will start um, uh, uh, one single uh, Kafka server and then we'll create a topic and then push some uh, messages um, on onto that topic and then we'll also um, consume those uh, uh, those uh, logs, if you will, through multiple consumers. So let's take a look at uh, what we need to do. So step one again is uh, let's uh, start Zookeeper. So uh, this assumes that um, you don't already have Zookeeper uh, or an instance of Zookeeper running. Uh, so Kafka itself comes with uh, its own built-in configuration and instance of uh, or the binaries, if you will, for Zookeeper. So this is only a getting started guide, but of course uh, in a production environment you will most likely have a, a Zookeeper instance running separately. And um, haven't changed any of the configuration and hence you can see that it's uh, it's uh, communicating to Zookeeper over the default port that's uh, 2181. Uh, we'll add a new tab here and run uh, the server right now. So we'll start an instance of the server. So again, um, haven't changed any of the default properties, so it's uh, it should be all fine. Uh, so here we can see that uh, we've uh, got uh, the server started as well. So we are good to go from a server standpoint, or we have a, a Kafka cluster, if you will, up and running. The next thing what we will want to do is before we actually uh, write uh, any messages, uh, we will create a topic. Um, so again, all these are examples so which uh, you should find on. Uh, the Kafka documentation site, so uh, have a look at that if you want to follow uh, the, the code along with me. So it's uh, pretty much uh, from the Apache Kafka site. Then let's actually create a topic, um, and this is a topic uh, called test. Um, so let's copy that and uh, let's put that in a separate window here. So 
So basically what we're doing is uh, we are creating a topic called test. Uh, it's uh, got one partition and one replication factor. And of course uh, we need to pass uh, the zookeeper URI here. All right, so let's run that. All right, so you can see that it's uh, created a topic called test. Now that we have created a topic, um, let's take a look at some uh, some of the uh, the scripts that we have to view existing topics. Uh, so we have a, a helpful uh, command to see a list of all the topics uh, uh, within our uh, Kafka cluster here. So of course we've just uh, created one uh, topic so far that's test. So it lists out test. And um, also another command that uh, will come in handy is uh, to describe that topic. Um, so if we want to uh, run that. So again, nothing out of the ordinary. All it's done is it's uh, telling us that um, it's, it's got one partition and one replication factor. So again, we only have one topic which is test, so nothing else has been listed. Alright, so now that we've got a topic, uh, what we can do is now we can actually create some messages and uh, you know emulate a producer. So of course in the real world, uh, you will have, uh, uh, you wouldn't emulate it this way, but just to test our um, consumer and provider. So what we'll do first is uh, we'll run this uh, script here. So it basically uh, points to uh, the Kafka broker and uh, uh, basically, um, uh, you know, what a console uh, allows us to uh, send some messages. So I'm going to run that command here. So we have got um, a console now, which acts as a producer. So we can set uh, set some messages and send that over to Kafka. So let's say uh, this is the first message, and we have a second message. So, so far we have, uh, we have got two different messages. Uh, each time you create a new line, it sends it as a new message. Uh, so while that's a producer, let's actually spin off uh, a consumer right now. Uh, so again, uh, you'll notice that the consumer again is pointing to the same uh, zookeeper uh, URI and it's looking for the test topic, any messages. Uh, and uh, we are specifying that uh, send uh, messages from the beginning. So I'm going to run that uh, yet in another uh, console uh, here. Yeah. And uh, here, so let me go to Kafka and paste that there. So since this is the first time that uh, we are running uh, the consumer, it will basically pull uh, anything that was uh, there in uh, the topics. Uh, so now to see it working, so let's actually add a third line. Here. again I'm back on uh, the the the, uh, the producer window so message third message and you'll notice it uh, kind of pops up there fourth message etc so what I can do now is uh, uh, just to give you an example of how uh, uh, you know scenario around um, building reliable systems uh, so I'm just going to kill off this uh, consumer here so uh, and let's add a fifth message and uh, say even still a sixth message. All right. So now we'll bring that uh, uh, consumer back to life. So let's um, let's uh, run first. I need to go to Kafka. All right. So now when we bring that consumer back up again, you'll notice that uh, it it can pick up all. The, uh, the the messages from the beginning again even though the consumer was down uh, what we can do is uh, um, you know just uh, to emulate it still further I'm going to add a second uh, consumer so let's uh, go back to the folder so that's Kafka again and um, I'm going to run another consumer and this time around I won't point it to the very beginning of the uh, the log so it's going to uh, basically consume again uh, those topics so let's actually see it in action so that so far we have sent six messages now if I send the seventh uh, message uh, you'll notice that it's uh, picked up by both the consumers so you can see uh, here we have the previous consumer and then again uh, we have a new instance of the consumer so all in all this was a, a very simple kind of like hello world equivalent 
to getting started with uh, Apache Kafka. As you could uh, see from these very basic examples, uh, some of the strengths of uh, looking at uh, Apache Kafka and um, how we can build uh, a distributed system uh, using uh, um, Apache Kafka. So in future videos in the series, we'll cover more advanced topic. Uh, so do subscribe if you want to get future updates on the series. Thanks everyone for watching.